for our viewers to give them a sense really of what are the complaints against H.T. Revanna and son. H.T. Revanna, I remember, is the son of former Prime Minister Deva Gowda, often spoken of as the first family of Karnataka. The Gowdas are facing these allegations. It's the father and son. Case number one, woman who worked at Revanna's house alleges sexual abuse. Woman health claims she was abused between the year 2019 and the year 2022. The charges were of sexual harassment, of intimidation and outraging the dignity of women. The second case that the father and son are facing, it's a complaint record. It talks about, uh, again, abuse as well. The third case where son is accusing, accuses Revanna family of abducting his mother. The son alleges that the mother was first sexually harassed by Prajwal. And remember, there's a kidnapping case against Revanna. This is the particular case as far as kidnapping is concerned. We're talking about hundreds of videos that have been, do been doing the rounds essentially. And that has obviously opened a can of worms. I'm going to go straight across to Anaga also for more details on that. Anaga, the SIT has already written to the CBI talking about the need for a blue corner notice on a guard to in fact get Prajwal Revanna back. Prajwal on his part has issued a statement already to this effect but what is the sense that you have as far as the Karnataka police here, the, the SIT is concerned? Sneha, tomorrow is when uh, Ravana will be produced in front of the magistrate, but then right. just before that, all routine medical checkups will be conducted. Right after that, he will be produced in front of the magistrate. He is getting grilled by the SIT team. They are going to be asking him a number of questions as to what really unfolded between the years of 2019 to 2022. They're going to be uh, seeing if the statement given by the victim and the statement that is being given by HT Ravana is really going to match. So they are going to do, you know, do the their due diligence to find out what really is the truth. But meanwhile, his son, uh, Prajwal Revana, is, as we speak, absconding. He's abroad. He's nowhere to be seen. He is at a point of no contact, not really returning anybody's calls. And that's why the CID has now issued, you know, the, the CBI is now going to issue a blue, uh, a blue corner notice at all immigration points just, you know, just to ensure that Prajwal Revana does not really flee to any other country. He could be in Frankfurt, let him remain there. We are going to bring him back to India because he has to face the music, he has to face the heat and most importantly, he, you know, he has to answer the difficult questions that, uh, you know, that are going to be challenged uh, on his face, you know, given the fact that the kind of allegations that has been leveled against the father's own duo. It's a very sensitive matter. As we speak, I'm just reaching the Home Minister's residence to, you know, to sort of get a sense about what really is going to be the next step for the father's own duo. So tomorrow, after Heshti Revana is going to be produced in front of the magistrate, what next for him? What is the next course of action that the state police department is going to take care of? So all these details will be revealed by the Home Minister in just a short while from now as we speak. Right, be with us is coming back to you in a moment from now. Nabila also continues to be with us for more on that. Nabila, essentially, as far as uh, the politics of this is concerned, we've seen how uh, there have been just so many theories that have been doing the rounds, including the fact that, and these are allegations, that the BJP knew about this, but still kept mum on it. You know, talk to us a little about how all of this, now with the arrest of Revanna, how this is going to essentially have an impact on the alliance, really, between the JDS and the BJP. You know, uh, Sneha, I did speak with B.Y. Vijendra, who's the president of the BJP unit in Karnataka, and he was quite clear that the BJP had no idea of the gravity of the allegations. Mm. One could say now that they were alerted a year ago, a letter was shot to Amit Shah, etc. Mm. Uh, but practically speaking, looking at the gravity of the situation, I, I don't think anyone expected the uh, videos to be so obscene and the crime to be mm. so grave. Uh, it was assumed uh, that there were some videos doing the round. There was no clarity on it. And even the BJP uh, whistleblower who tried to shoot off a letter did not give much clarity on the gravity of it. So, okay. uh, so to that effect, uh, one can't really blame the BJP leadership entirely for, for getting into an alliance. But that said, during the time of negotiation when Prajwal Revana's ticket was being allotted, he's an NDA candidate. If you know mm. now, JDS and the BJP have entered into an alliance partnership for Lok Sabha. They were also nearly going into an alliance during uh, the assembly elections last exactly. year itself. So this warning came up during the assembly elections itself. Nonetheless, this time, when the uh, seat was due to be given, uh, BJP leadership have resisted, is what we hear. 
but yet Deve Gowda, the former prime minister, has insisted that his grandson will manage to win the Hassan seat, and therefore he must be given a ticket. Uh, so that, which is why the BJP had to buckle, and it was a, an equation. Uh, three seats have been given. Interfere, Agala. Yeah, no, yeah, और आरसी बिट्री बेल मूव मर इधर आता है। सर आरियो बर्ता ही नहीं। यार वो तो किडनैप केस नहीं है। आरसी बिट्री बेल शिकली ना। वजह कोई तो आरसी बिट्री बेल। अब क्या? और ना कश्मीरी तकनीर भी कोता अंश है। क्या पोतन तो हाँ। मेरे को लोग थोड़ा तो मर सके। थोड़ा तो he had to speak to them. I've heard that he's been taken into custody. I will speak to the police and get more details. Please do not go by hearsay. All right, I'll just in fact uh, get in a word from Nabila. Nabila, if you could just summarize what the chief minister just said. Right. Uh, Sneha, hmm. the uh, Sidrame, of course, is taken in by surprise and it's very interesting to see DK Shivkumar, also the deputy chief minister, hmm. not responding to it, saying, I'm not aware of the arrest. It's highly impossible that the, the Karnataka Congress government is not aware of the SIT's movement hmm. because, remember, the SIT was short-staffed, is what we hmm. believe. The gravity of the case is so much. There are nearly 300-odd victims or more that they had to literally... Uh, Back in some muscle for the SIT in the last few days. They've mm. added nearly 14 staff members to the SIT to carry out this investigation, mm -hmm. including lady police officers, etc., in just the last 24 hours. So for DK Shivkumar or Sidramaya not to know about this arrest is bizarre. But nonetheless, it seems like the SIT is speedily going into this investigation and a blue-collar notice has been issued. Look, uh, Prajwal Devana has a diplomatic passport. Um, he, he's supposed to be coming back. He's already passed that deadline that the SIT has put in place two days ago. So the moment he reaches any airport, he'll be taken into custody. So there's no room hmm. for him to come, um, you know, uh, allow for his counsel to fight his case, etc. None of that is going to happen. The moment he lands in any airport in India, he's going to be taken into custody. And that's when the court trial will, uh, will begin until he probably gets bail or not. But remember here, there are three FIRs. First, it came up with one FIR against Prajwal Revarna. Right. The second one came about for uh, against HD Revarna. And now we're looking at a third complaint against HD Revarna as well. So more victims are coming out and making this situation a lot more grave for the JDS mm. first family in Karnataka. Well, absolutely.